Libra, let's jump straight into it for love, romance and relationships. Okay, Aries and Leo have come up. Now, Leo came up twice in the cards here. If you're not directly dealing with a Leo, this could show a lot of initiation taking place in your love um, uh, area. However, um, if it is a Leo, I feel as though a, a bond, a very strong bond is being formed, very strong attachments is being formed, and possibly even falling in love. Now, um, this is taming or controlling a situation, so I feel like a love... Uh, situation or relationship is going to be much more controlled it's almost like you have more control of a relationship or of your over your feelings as well especially if a lot of things have been back and forth or it's your second attempt at a relationship there might also be an ex that's coming back into the picture very unexpectedly because the four of cups brings surprises um, it's possibly someone who's hurt you or someone who has been dishonest with you in the past this person is coming back in and maybe the nine of so, uh, one sorry could indicate uh, capriciousness okay you feeling dubious about someone um, you're not really sure about where to take it you're feeling like you're on alert that you need to be on guard okay so I mean that's quite interesting I do want to say there is a destined meeting taking place whether online or face to face someone who's going to be absolutely head over heels for you Libra a page of pentacles he doesn't see or um, hear anything else whether it's an Aries a Leo the Pisces Aquarius can be any sign the page of pentacles this is someone who um, on the outside you're definitely their type and that's why they're so intrigued they're so open to getting to know you more the children represent learning uh, growth they're embracing things so there's someone here who wants to embrace you okay there's possibly even because the stars dazzle that yes they do there's possibly a proposal or someone who's going to really dazzle you this month Libra you're going to feel very excited to be around them it's almost like you feel like a child with them you might feel giddy you could get the butterflies in the stomach there might be a nervousness um, you might be hesitant to open up you know you might be treading really lightly and maybe we, we, we tend to do that as air signs. Um, we mentally assess, uh, you know, any sort of connection here. So I feel like a lot of you, you might be thinking this is too good to be true, but I want you to roll with it and I want you to absolutely embrace it, okay? Uh, for the most part, of course, follow your intuition respectively. Um, but I really feel like the hand of God, the universe, the angels is looking out for you here and is going to surprise you in regards to your love life. Um, so this is really, really special here. Lots of affection is coming to you as well. So I feel like someone's walls might be coming down, whether it's your own, whether it's someone you're dealing with, because the lion represents the difference, the contrast, the threshold between wild and domesticated. For here, he is being petted by the maiden. He's absolutely enjoying it. The maiden feels confident, feels safe, um, feels very... Uh, good to be close to the lion here so possibly even a bit of ego coming into play here okay so a bit of stroking the ego might be required for some of you don't know why that's coming up but it could be significant um maybe someone is needing that because aries i mean aries is very ego oriented so is leo they're fire signs um so I don't know if stroking the ego is going to help a certain situation, but it might help improve things between you and another person. Um, but there could be a lot of realizations. There's milestones in love that are being achieved, possibly even fertility, because a union is taking place here. Engagements, marriage proposals, talking about the future or potentially relocating even, moving into the physical realm, relocating with each other as well. But just be mindful about what's happening here. Some of you are involved with someone who you know might not necessarily be good for you. Uh, maybe this person is thinking about an ex. Maybe you're thinking about an ex, fiance, ex lover, someone who made an impression on you in your life. You're still thinking about them and you're treading lightly around this new person. Maybe you're not giving everything up. You're not revealing your cards just yet. Um, and you know, that's okay. I feel like there might be people around you that are giving you strength through comfort, through solace, through words, through actions. So I feel like that's showing there's a lot of support for you in your situation, Libra. Um, whichever situation that is, whichever situation you find yourself in, in regards to love. But you're also trying a lot of new things because the sun cut is Aries, the first sign of the zodiac. Um, 
Uh, it does represent new activities, new emotions, new experiences or new phases or chapters in your love life. So that's very exciting. You know, I definitely feel like destiny has things sorted out here for you. Something is written in the stars. You might feel it coming, Libra. Um, and it's very, indeed, very, very exciting. Let's move on, however, and have a look at your career, business, finance. What can we learn? I jumped up. Okay, very nice. Two aces, aren't you lucky? Three aces, Libra, and wish fulfillment. Okay, in career, I do feel like things are changing and they're changing for the better. Um, absolutely fantastic. Three out of the four aces here, Libra. Wow. New opportunities are coming in around you. Job offers, um, victory, opportunities to make changes, opportunities for growth, internal promotions or otherwise are coming up around you. The Empress, the Empress represents fertility and the birthing of new ideas. She nurtures these ideas which grow in finance, grow in money, grow in opportunity, grow in recognition very, very quickly and very, very effortlessly. Some of you are definitely adding an income stream or working on something with a significant other um, or a business relationship partner. Something like this is coming to um, fruition here. Um, you're beautifying something. The Empress can be seen as beautifying something here. So you're improving on something. You're building on it. You're beautifying it. You're making it dazzle. Okay, dazzling. Um, you're going to attract a different clientele, a different crowd or different employees or employers somehow. It's different from the norm. It's something new, but it's connected to wish fulfillment. And it's all supposed to be this way. It's a bit of a process, which I want you to trust in regards to your career, because this is like, wow. Okay, there's a message coming in. The bird is a messenger. There's a message coming in, possibly from a water sign here. This is about release, fulfillment, bliss. It's also a covenant or a binding agreement. There's the agreement here. There's some sort of contract or binding. Um, there's some sort of token, okay? A, a contract, a deed, um, a jurisdiction, authority, because the, the, the chalice is God's covenant, okay? So there's some sort of binding agreement. Maybe you've been fighting for it, Libra, but I see you crowned here. You are the sword. You've got the sword in your hand. The hand of God here is everywhere. So you've got divine intervention coming in around you in either creative pursuits, business opportunities, or um, in your workplace somehow. People are pulling strings for you. People are making things happen. Take the opportunities that you have and make the most with them because it's this opportunity that's going to help you grow or excel in your career. Now, Two of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. I see the Empress as an Earth sign. Um, she's very, you can see she's she's like a fertility goddess, but she's very wealthy. She sits on luxurious, um, you know, this luxurious seat here. She's got the cushions. She has comfort. She's got these beautiful robes. She holds a royal scepter. She's got a crown placed on her head. So for the most part, I feel like career, there's money making opportunities in your career that are coming to you. And it's connected to wish fulfillment in some way, shape or form, because you have the nine of cups, which is the dream card, the wish card. Um, some of you are selling something here and you're going to attract buyers, but it's also wishes and um, dreams coming true in your career. Whether you wish to be acknowledged, whether you wish your piece of writing or your designs to be out there to the world. Um, it's going to catch the eye of someone who's going to help you, um, help you grow as an artist, um, as a creator, um, as, a, as a person, as a professional. There's something that they're going to help you with here. But the message, the, so, the, the crown with the Ace of Wands, there's the growth that's taking place here. There could also be a fire sign helping you in some regard um, to your workplace here. But look, two to three different projects or two to three different income streams coming in around you. Pay attention to these opportunities because they're being sent to you, many of which you'll come across online, through media, through print, through the newspaper. Could even be a friend showing you something. You might meet with a friend and they might it might catch their eye online and then they might show you. Um but be careful, okay, because you have that five of pentacles. As much as there is a lot of opportunities coming around you, 
I guess, be realistic as to how much money you can invest or resources or time because you don't want to be depleted or overwhelmed here. Yes, there's a lot of opportunities and I know you would just want to dive in nose first. Um, however, you need to apply practicality and be realistic um, in, in how much you're able to manage or how well you'll be able to perform with two or three income streams. But something about the three three job opportunities, three new people starting at your workplace, three days that are going to be very significant or life-changing in regards to creative pursuits, career, or things of that nature. So that is quite significant here, but the three. You also have um, two twos. So you've got three here, but three, uh, the Empress. Could be a female that's making this happen for you. But a lot of productivity coming your way. But the Ace of Swords could be a bit of a struggle or a fight for something, a fight. Um, if you if this is like anything to do with compensation or um, uh, trying to earn money or receiving money um, or if someone has not paid you or you're entitled to something and you haven't received it as yet, Libra, this can indicate that there's some sort of battle coming up, okay? There's the obstacle here. You might be meeting with a professional that can help aid you. Or give you guidance or hope it's almost like they're giving you hope to rectify this situation that you might find yourself in in the period i will leave it at that however libra i just want to thank you again for tuning in